Team 8 is tracking a severe weather alert. Well, meteorologist Matt Kirkwood and Ellen Baca have been telling you about it all day. We've been tracking active weather, and as you look live out over South Haven, you can see quite the light show that is developing for the second night in a row here in West Michigan. Storm Track Live showing a lot of business picking up, especially in the southwest corner of the state. First, we have this line that is rolling through Chicagoland, producing damaging winds. But what we have is this flank that's developing out ahead of it that is now beginning to produce potential for some severe weather. As you'll notice, we have uh, this extends across the lake over to northern Illinois. We have a severe thunderstorm warning in place for now for northern Berrien County. This line is moving off to the northeast at 25 miles per hour. So it's producing torrential rainfall and also the possibility of some damaging winds along with a whole lot of lightning. As we look closer, you can actually see where these reds and greens are coming together. Rotation's beginning to pick up on this storm a bit. At this time, we don't have a tornado warning, but we're gonna have to watch that pretty closely, I think, over the next few minutes. As mentioned, this line is moving off of the northeast. In fact, this entire line is moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. South Haven not seeing the rain yet, but you will see it begin to pick up here within the next half hour to hour. And and this is what we're also concerned about. A lot of heavy rain that is moving into West Michigan. We do not need any more rain. I think the flooding potential uh, is going up for this evening. Tornado watch in effect for Allegan, Barry, Van Buren, Kalamazoo, Barry, and Cass counties until 2 a.m. Wouldn't be surprised if they end up issuing a severe thunderstorm watch eastward, but we don't have that at this time. Future cast shows that precipitation continuing to roll in heaviest between now and about 2 a.m. We'll see the possibility of damaging winds continue as well as a spin up tornado or two, especially south of Grand Rapids here over the next three to four hours. That rain begins to lift out and we're much quieter by the time we get to tomorrow morning. In fact, some breaks in the cloud cover are expected to develop and we'll see some sunshine along with a slight chance of a few showers through Tuesday afternoon. As mentioned, flooding concern is certainly there. Flood watch in effect for most of West Michigan, Muskegon to Greenville South. And some of our models continue to indicate the potential somewhere between I-96 and I-94 picking up several inches of rain, which would almost certainly produce flooding. And so this is something we're going to have to watch pretty closely uh, over the next four to five hours as well. Your eight-day forecast has uh, much, much quieter weather on the way as we head into next week, or the upcoming week, I should say. Again, the chance of showers tomorrow morning and again for at least part of Wednesday. But after that, it is going to be likely the nicest stretch of summer weather we have had yet. So we got to make it through the next few hours, uh, and then we're kind of in smooth sailing mode for at least the next week. But of course, we are fully staffed here yes. all night, and we'll be watching things closely over the next yep. few hours. All right. Good Sounds to hear. Good. Blake, thank you.